Lee, we're here at the AFRC, and today we're going to see a number of, you know, of uh, strategies from Sandvik Coleman that you wouldn't see from other companies. Yep. Well, on this machine, we're, we're demonstrating the prime turning. So we're, we're, we're turning in the prime direction to maximize the productivity and the metal removal rate. Uh, we're also showing uh, some Y-axis uh, grooving. Uh, rather than parting off um, discs, we're just going to show it, show it working in grooving. So we're running that at sort of 0.3 millimeters of rev in, into, into the material. And we're also showing this dynamic waveform um, grooving with the, the new QF face grooving. Okay, so that's almost like a trachoidal turning strategy. Yeah, it's a bit like a trachoidal strategy. Uh, you're keeping a constant sort of contact with the material. Um, it's very good process security, also good for your tool life. Um, you get really good chip control. Um, some of the cam companies, we have um, waveform machining or dynamic roughing, a lot of people will know it as. So yeah, it's, it's a strategy that works really well with the new um, QF face grooving tool because of the stability. And for the uh, people who haven't seen Prime Turn, you know, bi-directional, what, yep. what, what is it? I know that the clue's in the name somewhat. But. Well, yeah, you can turn in both directions with prime turning, but today we're only showing it in the prime direction because that's where you get the big advantages in both tool life and productivity. So we're running around 0.7 millimetres of rev, uh, 2 millimetres depth of cut, uh, around 240 mm -hmm. metres on, on an EN24T around 300 Brunel, and it's, it's just working a treat. You're saying the prime direction, but what, where's the science? Is it the fact that the chip's thinner? Yeah, well, by using this low approach angle and machining away from the chuck, we have a, 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 low, uh, a low approach angle, very thin chip, so we push the feed rate a lot higher. But of course, because you're moving away from the chuck as well, you can go, to, go up to shoulders without getting any chip jamming. So again, um, if you use an approach angle and turn in a conventional direction, you've always got material that you have to take out at a later date, whereas you don't with Prime. And the Y-axis part off, or, or grooving in this case, you know, it's not, it's, it's not new any longer, but what the advantage is, I know that obviously the blade's going to be a lot stiffer, for one. Yeah, well, of course, all the cutting forces are going back up the blade, so you get six times the, the, the bending stiffness when you use the Y-axis for, for parting or grooving. So, of course, that allows you to push the feed rates much higher. But also, if, if you don't need to take advantage of the higher feeds, you're going to get much better tool life because you're going to get less vibration. So it's, uh, it's, a good, it's a double whammy, really. Yeah, big advantages, but how do you go about programming it? OK, so we've got um, Andy who's been helping us from DMG this week, and he's, he's never seen it before. I gave him an example program. And he's just, just got on with it and done it. It's been quite straightforward. We just change a parameter within the program to, to take advantage of the constant surface speed using the Y rather than the X. And then it just changes it back at the end of the program. So it's quite straightforward. Um, once you've done it once, it's, it's pretty easy. And this is on a DMG Mori machine. Is it the same argument on, on different controls? Yeah, we have example code for, for most machine types out there, most, most control types. You know, so it's, it, we, have, um, we have a sort of database of different codes. So, our, our, our guys, our application specialists, we can help customers with it, and customers can actually uh, just, just get on and do it themselves. And the, the, the coidal face grooving, as I would call it, you know, is, is, is that a macro program? Is that easy to program as well? Generally, if you're going to take, take, um, take care of that yourself, it's, it's more difficult to program. Um, but the cam, most CAM companies now have a, a means of uh, some sort of, like I say, dynamic waveform uh, roughing that you can apply. And just, just applying some simple rules will give you the process security and the advantages. So a little bit more program, it's fair to say, but huge advantages, better tool life, uh, a, a more stable process and yeah. get the part off quicker. Well, that's right. I mean, it, th there's not much in it in cycle time between like a normal face grooving operation or, or dynamic face groove uh, roughing. And of course, the advantages are you know, your swarf bin's not full of longer chips. So it, it, it's, it's, it's really good for process security. And it's a button, so it's cost effective also. Yeah, it's, it's a round insert in a, in, a, in a face grooving holder. So of course we do, we do obviously square inserts as well, but for this operation today, we decided to show something a little bit different. And you're here at the AFRC, how do you find these guys to work with? Yeah, great. I mean, they're very experienced. A lot of the guys, the operators know what they're doing. They're running multiple machines, so it's really good to work with them. Uh, they've been really well organized. Um, you know, Crawford's done a good job, Tracy also. They've been really helpful and, you know, nothing's been too much trouble for them. So and we've had to do a lot of it remotely. So it's been, uh, it's been a good experience, really, yeah.